What is up YouTube, it's your boy Siobhan and we're back with another video. And in today's video, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about what college has been like 2020 edition. Moving in the first day, I got the chance to move in early. And you know in those movies where you watch the parents dropping off their kid and the kid would kind of get situated and the parent might stay just to help out. Well, it was different because with the pandemic going on, it was what we could do at that time. And I think it was nice because I was still able to have the assistance of my dad and mom, my brothers to help out move in and all that stuff. And it was kind of, I was nervous at the same time because I'm finally making that step into moving from home, living on campus. And it, I was just excited at the same time. And I remember we had our temperatures checked, make sure that we were clear and we didn't have any symptoms of COVID. And it was just back and forth received passes so it could let us back into the building. It was it was weird at first because I had this big room. This room that you're seeing right here was completely disorganized and I had to put it together. And this leads me into like the next thing is like my roommate. It was a dope experience to have someone who is completely different from you, but in a sense, you had similarities, common interests, and we were able to like grow our experience as roommates through that. And it was quite fun. I remember we went to a concert together. I remember we we just did a lot together, even um, though my roommate actually moved out. Ben, no. Ben. You gotta break the knees to them. I'm leaving you, Siobhan. You're on your own now. Hold this camera, please. Hold the camera. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you just have to catch it at the wrong moment. So, this is the homie. And I'm really sad that he's going, but he's gonna cook for me. It's a promise. Gabe, what do you have to say to Ben? I can't put this water bottle down. Ready? You didn't get to talk that much? We really didn't. <laughs> yeah, we really didn't. I, I, kinda, really I kinda feel bad about it. Me too. But, I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have like family dinners. We're gonna go just like south and just chill. Yeah, yeah. I, I think maybe we can we'll do that, right? Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, if the council approves. The council, yeah. yeah. Here, it was really sad. I miss my homie Ben but I still stay in touch as much as I can to see how he's doing and he checks up on me. He's still active on campus since he's a part of the orchestra. He's just doing his thing. So maybe you're gonna see him soon, especially in the vlogs. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is friends. And in college, I'm gonna let you know ahead of us, not everyone that you know not everyone that you met the first couple of weeks are gonna be your friends. Most time you meet people and you might expect them to be there for the longest of time, but that is not the case. What I have learned is that people come for a time, a reason, and for a season. And I didn't know that. My mama told me that, my dad told me that, my mentor told me that, and my friends told me that. A lot of people told me that, but Honestly, life is the true teacher if you choose to learn that way. And I realized that sometimes people are just gonna leave and it's not the end of the world because through the loss of people, there's something to gain. You meet someone different, you develop a new relationship, some positivity experience comes from that. So don't take all losses as bad, but take them as life, life lesson and learn from them. And the friends that I have now is a really good group. Um, I'm gonna just insert like a montage of like things that I did with those people. All right, so we're back. Whew, I tell you, going back through that was like wow i can't believe we did so much in those short weeks especially when i started vlogging and i'm still gonna vlog on my channel before we even jump to midterms let's get to the class classes were quite different this year because all my classes are online so most of the time i'm either in my dorm 
or if I have the courage to go outside, I will go outside and do my class in the library or like somewhere that I can concentrate but at the same time be outside and not be in my room. The classes are typically not hard. Um, the only thing what I suggest to do is, is to write things down. Look at your syllabus because that is your best friend. If you have a really good professor, they're gonna, pro like all professors as standard would give you a syllabus to tell you what you need to do, when it's gonna happen, and use it. Put the test dates on the calendar, things that are not sure, or you know, like things in advance, like communicate back with your professors. Because if you wanna be successful, if you want to get good grades, if you want to like be in great academic standing, communicate, write stuff down, ask questions, push yourself out of your comfort zone. Because if you don't, the only person that you're affecting is yourself. And we don't want that because we're putting in money, time, and effort just to be here. And through my midterms, I only had really one midterm and then like some essays that I'm writing. And from my midterm, it was just like a recollection of like what I've been learning off the side, especially with um, some reading assignments because I have one complete class that my professor doesn't do like zoom or anything like that and everything is just pretty much online we just have a book that we had to read if we have any questions we can ask her we can also like email her zoom her like set up like appointment these are all the stuff that you do what i'm learning this is just like my first semester so i'm still learning new things as i go along but pretty much i just want to share with you that to get out do things that you never got a chance to do or experience to, to find the right group of people who are gonna push you and motivate you. And before I even move on with anything, if you're a believer and you wanna stay structured in your faith, find people with similar beliefs as you and look for those communities on campus where you can still practice your your faith in Jesus Christ because that's what I had to do so that I didn't get like thrown around by what culture wants me to do or like what society is saying like it's okay to do this and do that. Nah, look, if you a Jesus follower, you gotta remember you he, he you're walking with him. <laughs> he ain't walking by yourself. So because you can come at college and voila, I'm telling you, like it's so easy. But what makes you different is making the active decision, saying like, look, I'm not gonna come here, while out, forget about my belief and put God on the back burner. Nah, I'm gonna walk with him. And it was tough a couple of days. And I'm gonna get into that, into like different stories and stuff like that. But for our first story time, because what I learned in college so far, um, I just want to share with you that I was able to grow more in my faith and structure because now I realize like I had to seek God for myself. It is not my mom's faith that I'm borrowing. It's not my dad's faith. It's not my pastor's faith. It's not my family's faith. This is my faith because if I don't seek him for myself, then who's going to seek him for me? You know what I'm saying? So that's just like a motivation, like something to like encourage you, like, hey, go after him. You still can live your life, even if you're at college, even if you're working, even if you're in high school, wherever you are, don't allow culture to push you around and say, oh, Jesus is cat. No, nah, Jesus is true. You can live your life for him too. So on that note, I'm just gonna close out and say, look, we're close to 200 subs and I'm excited. I don't know if you're excited, but I'm excited. I just wanna shout out to everyone who has been a part of this journey that we're close to 500 subscribers and then a thousand subscribers. So what I wanna say is thank you so much for subscribing, for the constant support, for like interacting with me. I appreciate it. A thumbs up means a lot. You commenting something means a lot. It shows that this video was worth watching, that you enjoyed it, that I'm doing good. And if you have any suggestions, please comment that down below. Stuff that you wanna learn about um, college, 
um, comparing it to like high school or something like that, how to study, all that stuff. I also want to incorporate that on my channel, including faith stuff. So if you have any questions like how to pray, how to to, to read the Bible or stuff like that, these are all things I'm going to cover in later videos. But right now, I just want to bring y'all back to let y'all know that I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I'm still surviving. I'm not. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here. And I just want to thank you. So other than that, have a blessed day, family. Ooh, Smith, family, stand up, y'all. Y'all.